Hello everyone, I'm Jerome right here again, and you're um, in tune to my Jeronification channel. My Jeronification channel, and um, you have an image up here of an um, ancient cave art drawing that was covered in soot and was discovered um, back in 2010, I believe. It is 2010 that this was discovered. Let me turn some more light on here. And um, it was discovered in um, in in um, I think Petra. Is it Petra? Um, yeah, Petra. Um, Petra Jordan. Um, in a cave in Petra Jordan. And um, it's a 2,000 year old painting. And this painting is um, it had a stunned scholars. Because it was covered with soot, and they, they, they had, I guess, some British um, experts actually cleaned it up and restored it, or whatever have you, and so forth and so with. And um, they were stunned because it has a hellenistic style. It was a hellenistic. Um, it's two thousand year old hellenistic um, style wall painting. Okay, and I don't know if that's in compared to Rome, um, a Roman ancient art, or whatever. But um, anyway. If you see a painting come up, if you see a drawing come up, you know what time it is. It's, it's my time. You know what I mean? It's um, it's decoding time. All right. So, um, I'm gonna dedicate. I'm gonna start this out. I'm gonna dedicate this 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 discovery to a friend I've just made um, from Jordan. I'm not gonna mention her name, but um, she'll know who she is. And um, she actually has um inspired me to make this find because. Um, she's been having her own experience in an encounter, and um, through um, her um, her experience and encounter, this is how I met her. I met her actually on my alien UFO site, and I um, I messaged her, and we've been messaging back and forth ever since. So, um, what led me to find this is that I said, well, let me Google some um, some Jordanian paintings right quick, and let me show off my um, my paranormal um, abilities to her. And um, I know, well, she she can look at my videos or whatever. But anyway, I said, let me impress her right quick. So I said, um, I ran across this this piece of artwork, and um, I didn't see nothing at first, and it just and it just kept going, and I just I looked at it, and I didn't see nothing at first, but long and behold, um, I set it to the side, and then came back again, and long and behold, everything just came to me there, as it always does, because. If it's there, and I second guess the image, meaning if I look at that image and something says it's there, and I set it to say, well, I'll come back. well, it won't. The thought won't go away. I actually go back and get it. All right. First of all, I want to show you something. Just with this Jordanian ancient Jordanian art cave art. So um, let this be known that this is. I'm going to put give this woman a face, and I'm going to give her not one face but many faces and. We're going to um, chalk this discovery up as um, famous artwork of Jordanian Petra Cave that is now decoded by Jerome Wright. Okay, um, over here there's a um, a reptile snake coming in. Okay, um, she has a flute. The woman has a flute-like object in her face. I mean, I mean, in her, to her mouth in her face. I want to give her a face. You see, she doesn't have a face there. I'm going to give her several faces. Look at that, people. I'm going to become an artist. Yep. This is my ability, people, to see beyond that that is on face. If it references our creators and our creation, I can see it, people, and I can highlight it for you to see. That's why I do not mind seeing things, because when I see things, I can bring them to reality for you to see. You can Google this image. All you have to do is Google 2,000-year-old Petra Cave um, painting discovered. What do we have here? I gave this, this woman a face. Look at this, people. And I actually even colored it in for you. Look at that. She doesn't have a face there, but look what I'm able to do through my paranormal experience and encounter. You see that? Look at that, people. Now, what are we looking at here? All right. Here. First of all, look at her face I gave her. 
Off on her face, sharing her eye, you see a creature, like a half-like cow-like creature. See that creature? There's its eye. See its mouth open, and it's spitting out a serpent-like creature there, out of its mouth. You see that? That's attached to her face. And, and notice how her left eye is the right eye of that being, and that being has its own eye. Isn't that kind of wonderful, people? But my favorite... Let me let me bring this in so you can get the full gist of all of this. And I also have another image I can bring. My favorite is always the mother of creation. And there she uh, hold on, I might I might have to take this back some. I'm in I'm in too close there. The mother of creation, people. There she is right there. I'm at her pointy nose, her mouth, her eye, and look at that object coming off her head. Here is a a um a um uh, a dinosaur reptilian like dinosaur right there the snout of it there's my ape there there's a horn being right there in our head there's the right horn there's the left horn and that being is looking down let me bring this back in closer people so you can realize these images hold on where we are here see that ape look at it I'm gonna bring that lead that up close like that and just back off just a hair look at that people isn't that absolutely amazing Look at my horn being there. Look at the horn. That's the left horn. That's the right horn. And it actually, this being actually has two faces. But I only gave it one. But there's its nose. There's its eye socket. And look how its mouth is open. And it's shown sucking on the forehead of that ape. Which I can tell you what that means though people. But I'm not going to tell you now. There's the ape's eye socket. There's the ape's nose. There's the ape's mouth facing down at this woman. And then you have another creature, which is that of a black like man right there, looking upward towards the sky. And then you have all of these other creatures, people. Look at that, morphing each other in this woman's hair. Look at that beautiful face I gave her. She didn't have a face before. Let me lift this up again so you can see. She didn't have a face before. Look at that. Now look at these creatures that I highlighted, people. Look at that. Look at this. See the horn like me? I'm going to let mine down again, the highlights that I made. A wonderful discovery, people. Look at this. Look at that. Look how that being right there. This is the most impressive one, the demonic one with the horns. Look how he actually is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a larger image. Check out this larger image, people, that I highlighted just for you. Let me back off some so you can realize what's here. Look at this, people. Look at this. A 2,000-year-old Jordanian painting discovered in 2010, and it has shocked scholars. And look what I found to be referenced in the hair. Every ancient piece of artwork that references or records are becoming or an ancient heritage, or an ancient symbolization referencing the creation of that of our becoming of mankind, people, I can do this too. Look at that. A wonderful and amazing discovery. Oh, I said I was going to give you the reptilian, the dinosaur's mouth. There it is right there, even complete with teeth. There's a tooth, there's a tooth, there's a tooth, there's a tooth. This is the snout of it right here. And then it's shown with this other being, that horn being. Look at this horn being. Look at his eye. These things even have pupils, people. Look, there's the nose. Look at the mouth. On the end of the dinosaur, indicating the reptilian presence. And the, and the thing has a horn on his head. Look at this, people. In a 2,000-year-old painting, look at the description of this, people. Look at this. The ape is here on the back end of this creature. Look at this. Look at this ape right here. Look at the ape's face looking down at the woman, calf-like creature with his mouth open, spitting out the worm like out. Oh, this guy right here that's looking up, he has his pupil. You can Google this image now, people, and I can show you. At the bottom of his chin is a reptile, a snake, looking upward as well with this man as well. And my mother of creation, she's she's my baby. She appears with all of these images because she is the creator of all. Right there. 
shows how she morphed from all of these likenesses and came through all of these likenesses and came into this likeness here of the Jordanians. It shows you how she done it, not just on this, not in just the um, the um, the Jordanian um, 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 people, but I mean all people of all world, everywhere, Africans, China, Japan. All of these symbolizations, people, are all the same. Look at this wonderful, look, I'm going to try to get this image in for you again without my highlights. Look at that, people. You can Google this image now and pull it in. And these highlights that I have made for you, you will see. How can I do this, people? The ape always appears with the mother of creation, the likeness of black man, reptilians, horn beings, and then the likeness of those that this, this person evolved from. It tells you, people, how the likeness of this person in Jordanian came to be from all of these likenesses up here. Something that should not have been known, people. Something that should not have been known. Every Renaissance artist mentions the same thing in their work. Every famous artist, even through today, implications in movies, implications in, 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 uh, in household products, in implications in commercials, implications in everything, people. I can do the same exact thing. And not just show you the images, but tell you what it all means. I know what all of this means. People, look at this man right here. Look at his mouth. Look at his nose. Look at all of this. This horn being. Look at all of this. In a 2,000-year-old painting that was almost like it was covered in soot. That was, that was um, cleaned up. People, look at this. Her hair all over the place. And I can see that through my multidimensional sense. And vision. I can see this. I see through the eyes of all of our ancient ancestors, which allows me to identify with each and every image up in here. It's like I have the eyes of her. I have the eyes of that dinosaur. I have the eyes of that horn being. I have the eyes of that ape. And I have the eyes of that ancient reptilian like black man. And this, this Jordanian woman, I have their eyes. It's like I evolved through all of that people. And when I look at this image... I can see through the eyes of all of them and see all of their faces. And that's the only way that you can see this stuff, people. You can't see it through the sense and, 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 the, and the vision that you have. You have to have a multidimensional sense of vision and awareness in order to even know that this stuff is there. But the beauty in it all is that I have the common sense to take what I see, take it in. Let it become a part of me because knowing this and feeling this, I am everything that is here. And being able to present it back to you in the way that I can. And this is the beauty in it all. And this is what it's all about. I can create mankind. I can tell you how long certain mutations and genetic manipulations will take based on the records that we already have, people. There is a genetic holy grail blueprint as to each and every civilization of our world, how they were actually came into existence, where they came from, how long it took for them to be made. I mean, people, it goes on. How they were genetically bridged and manipulated, how the process is continuing to go on. And look at this cave art, this Jordanian cave art, people, 2,000 years old. Look at this woman, this witch-like woman, at the snout of this dinosaur creature, reptilian creature. And then there's a horned man at the other end, people. Look, shows you the horn. Look at the definition of the horn. Let, ho, ho, let, me, let me show you. Look at the lines in the horn, people. Look how that horn bends over his head. And then there's another face right here. I didn't actually put that one in because I didn't want to take away from this one here because this one looks so great. I didn't want to take it away. But people, it's another face that's morphing off of this dinosaur. I mean, this, this ancient dinosaur, reptilian dinosaur, to this guy. People, look at that. And then our ape. And then on the back of the ape, look, black man. And then look, shows you how these genes were morphing one another. Ancient cave art, 2,000-year-old cave art, discovered in 2000, I'm able to do this with. 
people, I am damn proud of myself. I really am. I really am. And I'm going to keep doing this and doing this and doing this until that message is hammered home. My name is Jerome Wright. I'm going to make this video short. I'm not going to ramble on in this video here. Um, you're watching my um, <laughs> I say my Jordanian channel. <laughs> I wish it was. But um, you're watching my Jeronification channel. And again, I'm dedicating this video to my um, uh, um, um, a just met friend, okay? And um, she's from um, Jordanian, or J um, Jordan, and um, she's a Jordanian. And um, it's because of her that I actually was inspired to go out and look for J Jordanian art. And I, um, this was my first pick that I ran across right here. And it goes to show you that, I mean, this is all I have to do is go to the oldest. And this is spot on. So the rest of the Jordanian artwork, I mean, I can w walk right on through because... This is telling us this is at the cornerstone of it all right here. Look how I gave her that face. That that Jordanian. Look how I gave that woman her face. Look at this, people. Look. Look at that. Look like it belongs there, don't it? Look at this here from, from a distance. I colored it and everything with coloring pencils and all. Look at that. Gave her that face. Look. Penciled it in the same color as her body right there. But look, she doesn't have a face. When you Google the image, she does not have one. People, I'm going to be famous behind all imagination. Look at this. Look what I have done to this painting. A 2,000-year-old painting that was discovered. Look at this, people. Am I badass or what? This is, this is, this is remarkable. It really is. And then we got the ape. Reptilians, I mean, the horned beings, the reptilians, the African-American, I mean, well, the African men, the, 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 the woman of, I mean, the, the mother of creation. Oh, people, and then got the, the, the serpent-like creature off to the side, the snake all the way over to the other side. I'm going to get going. Uh, where we at here? Look at that. And I can do more than this with this image, too, by the way, people. I just, you know what I mean, I'm just going to give it a little teaser and all. And perhaps, maybe, perhaps, maybe you'll go ahead and start pushing those numbers and pushing those buttons and getting me to go viral here so I can, um... So I could take a break and and and, look, and just do this continuously, you know what I mean? So, people, I have I have a true paranormal experience and encounter, and it feels good to be able to make videos like these and bring this type of stuff to you, and um, with stuff that's already out there that you can Google, because it actually just lends to making my thing easier. Because we don't need a scientific um, um, verification; we can verify ourselves. All you have to do is just Google this information, and there it is. You know what I mean? You can you can see for yourself. You know what I mean? Look at that. That's um. Is that touch? Yeah. I actually I gave her. Yeah. This is um where I gave her her face. This this image here is untouched. My I even gave made her lips red. Look at that. Look at that, people. Now. Amazing, truly amazing. A record of who we were, how we were created, two thousand years ago, in a cave in Jordan, covered with soot. Look at that, people. I'm gonna let you go on that. My name is Jerome Wright. You're on my Jeronification channel. Thank you for watching.